welcome to our uh, welcome to our Northampton community television audience, and uh, so happy to have you with us. This is Rick Haggerty kicking it for Peace Culture and Education, airing each Sunday morning from eight to ten a.m. and replaying Thursday night eleven p.m. to one a.m. So uh, so happy to have you with us. Welcome back, uh, Nor- uh, Valley Free Radio listeners, and we're so happy to have with us this morning. Uh, Zoe Lemos and Willa Sippel. Did I say that correctly? Oh, okay, Willa Sippel. All right. <laughs> Got it straight. Uh, happy to have you both with us. Thank you. Got, thanks for coming out on a uh, chilly morning. Thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah. It's so great to have you here. And uh, this is such an exciting uh, march. You know, we're all, uh, you know, uh, kind of just aware of what's going on here with um you know the um uh, so the violence in schools and um and so much uh you know so much violence i mean there was a recent uh uh knifing uh, that that just happened um in a uh, in a school and uh i don't know if you heard about that one um yeah yeah I, the, uh, several kids were critically injured when a guy was wielding a couple of knives um, and then we all know about the uh, Marjorie Stoneham Douglas High School, and we've all taken a stand and said enough. And you guys are really involved. So tell us uh, uh, quickly about the march, and then we will hear from uh, Zoe with a song. Who wants to tell us what's going on? Well, um, right now, after um, this past Wednesday, there was a walkout at um, many schools around the country, um, including Northampton High and PVPA, which we go to. And um, so that was really exciting. And now we're same planning committee is planning also the March for Our Lives, which is happening in one of the locations is in Northampton. And basically it's just it's entirely organized by students, which is what makes it so amazing and special. Um, it's it is it's incredible. Like it's drummed up so much support and we really have come a long way with just like there's no very few like adults involved. And um, so the speakers will be almost entirely students, um, and it's gonna—it's just very a very cool experience to be a part of. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, and you guys are so—it's uh, so amazing that you're, you know, uh, really driving it, you know, and that and that the youth are really driving it, and, and students because it's students' lives that are, that are at stake, you know, and obviously are. You know our uh, legislators and uh, you know um, um, obvious, uh, obviously obviously uh, executive branch and everybody else has, has fallen flat and failed. You know, so you guys are are stepping up, and uh, you have my respect for that. And you know, I mean, I've obviously been uh, running lockdown drills at my school and my classroom, and we're all in it, and we're all you know happy to come home safe every day. But that feeling of fear. I mean, we shouldn't have to live with it, and I know this is what you guys are doing. Um, and so there is a, a March for Our Lives Northampton, and we'll just say quickly that that is Saturday, March 24th, 12 to 3, and that starts uh, at the high school, correct, Willa? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, starts at the high school and walks down to, marches down to uh, City Hall, Saturday, March 24th. <clears throat> and uh, so, um, you know, it's a lonely feeling, and it's uh, it's really sad. And with that in mind... Um, Zoe's going to uh, play a song, and it happens to be called uh, Lonely Soul. Is that correct? Do you want to yes. tell us about the song? Um, this song is just called Lonely Soul. It could have a metaphor in it if like, you really tried to look in it, <laughs> but yeah. But. <laughs> All right, this is Zoe. ocean because it's open we like our waves we eat we like our touch we like our bluffs like a little white lies laced with like because we eat we aren't imaginary we can't kill our ordinary just for fun it's barbaric i'm so generic but not for you because me and my lonely soul we don't i love like most others do Cause you, you know I love for you And you know that it's true 
Cause you, you know I love me too But I knew you would then shoes And she's waiting for you And we, we have responsibilities So use your agility and find your son And I, I don't want to admit But she loves you more than I ever did And my eye, truth burns And your luck has turned And so far I've learned That you were scared to hurt So I did it first Cause me and my lonely soul We don't love like most others do Cause you Waiting for you And it's barbaric I'm so generic But not for you That was uh, that was fantastic. Thank you so much. And uh, that was uh, Zoe Limos with uh, Lonely Soul. So um, let's uh, let's go back to the uh, let's go back to the March uh, conversation. Um, so Willa, um, why don't you uh, tell us about uh, the agenda? We said we're going to start at the Northampton High School, and uh, what's going to happen at the March? Could you? Um, yeah. Um, so. Basically, we're going to start Northampton High, and we're going to march down, uh, student-led march down to the City Hall. And so um, then when we get to City Hall, we're gonna, there's going to be a, there's gonna be a series of speakers and musicians, including um, Zoe and myself and our band Felixis Jinx will be playing. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So that'll be super fun. Um, but yeah, so there'll be a series of speakers um, who are talking about different like issues surrounding gun gun violence or gun control in schools um one speaker has a personal experience with it so that will be very interesting to hear um so you, somebody who was involved in a an incident yeah school in violence incident. Or, um, yeah um wow yeah that or just like personal like gun violence oh yeah happened. sure okay yeah. and so it'll be very interesting and very personal um, so then we'll hear a few other musicians play as well, and um, and so it's gonna it's the, it's gonna be around uh, 45 minutes I think the actual speaking part, and then we don't the march is gonna take however fast people yeah. walk. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's also incredible how many schools are or student leaders are participating in this walkout. Yeah. There's like just a couple examples is Belchertown High Belchertown High School, East Hampton High School, Four Rivers, Northampton, Northfield, Mount Hermon, this Pioneer Valley Performing Arts Charter School, this Pioneer Valley Chinese Immersion Charter School. It just the list goes on and on. Fantastic. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So so all of the uh, the youth in the area have come together yeah. for this. And um, are adults welcome? Yes. Can we come and support yes. it? Oh, okay. yeah. One we we want percent. everyone to come and support it. I asked him if I was going to go. I said, well, yeah. I said, I, I want to go down there. Yeah. And uh, so uh, that is uh, starting at Northampton High School, High School on Elm Street in Northampton, if you're wondering where it is or you're just in town. I don't know. It's across from uh, Child's Park on Elm Street. And, um, yeah, it's cor corner of Elm and Elm. Yeah. Do you know that? Elm turns in front of the high school. <laughs> I was like, wait, where's... What goes straight? <laughs> well, it's, it's North Elm, yeah. right? If you stay on Route Nine, but it's on Route Nine in uh, in Northampton. So, um, so well, let's talk um, a little bit about um, you know your each of your personal experience with this. I mean, why'd you get involved, and uh, what does it mean to you? How about if uh, well, who would like to go first? Okay, Zoe. Um, yeah. So. This has been amazing um, working with this. You get to meet so many more people. I think I've made more friends in the past week than I've made in like the entire school year of, of last year. But um, 
this has especially amplified where we can talk about um, student anxiety as well, because that's a huge issue. Because people yeah. go to school. Yeah. I know that um, my school recently had a dance, and it was masquerade. And every time like a balloon pop, people would jump. Yeah. And yeah, sure. also, people were scared to go to the walkout just because we had a threat the day earlier. Really? Yeah. Um, we've had a lot of like do we have we've had two in for a while, but and there were like police. They they always say there's gonna be like one, but there was like six. Um, and we all had all our bags checked. I know people were kind of like on edge that day. Yeah, yeah, I imagine. Yeah. Wow. Well, um, that's um, incredible. Yeah, it's really. Re- how about how about you, uh, Willa? Um, well, personally, the reason I got involved, well, there's so much. Our school, um, North Haven High, has this incredible activist community that's kind of just popped up. I know it's been here, but like especially this year, we've kind of taken like gotten together as a collective and I just I went to one one of these meetings um, led by Sherilyn Strader and Ben Moss Horowitz and a bunch of other uh, amazing activists who I think were on Valley Free Radio a couple uh, a week ago or something Mm -hmm. and talking about this and they just it was just so inspiring to hear them talk about all the things that they thought they knew we could do to help Um, I know that uh, we've had stay in places since then and people like it's uh just because of like medical medical things at our school but uh it's the fact that like you hear someone go over the loudspeaker and tell you to say it in your cl- it's just it's kind of terrifying especially like we mm-hmm. had it a couple days after um parkland and it was yeah. it was that was that a drill um uh, no what, what it wasn't was a drill. something actually but occurred it's not it's not like yeah. a lockdown though so it's like it's like a step okay. back but yeah. Yeah. I mean, it still is like shelter in place yeah or, yeah mm-hmm. okay sure um yeah. So, yeah, so we had that, but I think more importantly, like the reason that um the reason that this is just such like a a big growing thing is because there are so many passionate people, like at the meetings I've gone to, um they're just people care we're not gonna it's just students who are just standing up and using their voices in a way, and they're heard, which is phenomenal because um the bias against like youth voices yeah, is, yeah. is huge and something that oftentimes people don't realize um so i think this is this is this is so important and incredible to say the least yeah yeah, yeah absolutely well well thank you so much for doing this and um you know i was uh i was personally touched by the uh speakers in washington that i saw online mm-hmm. you know these young mm-hmm. people just saying look you've uh, you haven't gotten the job done you know children are dying yeah. Uh, the gun control lobby is, you know, is crazy and out of control. And uh, the NRA is, um, you know, uh, just supporting guns in everyone's hands. And that's not going so well. You know, and obviously, uh, you know, students are paying the price and mm-hmm. uh, people in our inner cities big time and mm-hmm. everywhere, really. Um, everybody's paying mm-hmm. the price. So. Um, so. All right. Uh, well, I just want to say again. Uh, we're, uh, we're at Valley Free Radio, uh, 103.3 FM Northampton, uh, streaming online at valleyfreeradio.org, and um, we, uh, WXOJ, I said that kind of backwards, but, but anyway, we uh, were talking with uh, uh, Zoe Limos and uh, Willa Sapel. I got that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, did I, did I say a uh, simple, but it's simple. Work. I keep saying it wrong. No, it's okay. Simple. All right. Sounds so cool. accent on the first uh, syllable there. I do take teach language arts. I should get this. Simple. <laughs> uh, Willa Simple, and Zoe Lemos, and they are involved with the uh, March for Our Lives in uh, Northampton, which is happening uh, March twenty fourth, uh, starting at the uh, Northampton High School and uh, walking down to City Hall for uh, a whole bunch of. Uh, uh, music and there'll be speakers there as well, and it's youth driven, so um, that's uh, so important, and um, uh, and we're so happy that you're here to talk about it and that you're doing this. Um, so we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go back to uh, Zoe, and Zoe, you have a uh, another song, yeah. is that right? And is it called mm-hmm. Breathe? Yeah. Oh, okay, you want to tell us about sure. it? Sure. This is a new song. It's. Pretty much the gist of it is a person is hurting someone else while hurting themselves. And it's kind of like 
um, it doesn't directly say like Congress, but it's kind of uh, if you, it's like if you also are, you're hurting us by telling us that our lives aren't worth uh, your right to have a military weapon. And yeah. it's kind of like, yeah. well, going to come back at you. Right. Well, while they line their pockets with contributions yeah. from the NRA, right? So, okay, this is Zoe. Yeah. Disco ball Turns out it was a wrecking ball in the skies It, it only slipped a few times Only a couple inches at most Then I, I, I had a big party Too much room to fit everybody And when the bass drop came in everybody dropped the disco ball didn't slip, it jumped Somebody breathe Somebody broke my heart Somebody breathe Somebody broke my heart Just like that disco ball I felt so hard Just like that wrecking ball I heard someone else my I neighbor was a lawyer when he was young He got me out of this situation And I had a debt of four dollars Cause that's how much that disco ball cost And ten years ago it was brand new Turns out it had some issues Somebody breathe Somebody broke my heart Somebody breathe Somebody broke my heart Just like that disco ball I felt so hard Just like that wrecking ball I heard someone else Somebody breathe, somebody broke my heart Somebody breathe, somebody broke my heart Just like that disco ball, I felt so hard Just like I broke my own heart, I broke someone else All right, Zoe Limos, thank you so much What a great, uh, what a great song and um, so, uh, again, we're talking here about the, uh, uh, the March for Our Lives in Northampton, March 24th. And, you know, this event is co-sponsored. Uh, this event is co-sponsored by the Pioneer Val Valley High School students, the badass activists for the Pioneer Valley, Indivisible Northampton, Pioneer Valley Women's March, and Progressive Pioneer Valley. And their statement is, in the wake of the tragic slaughter of innocent students, at uh, Marjorie Stoneham High School, Stoneman High School, uh, Douglas High in Parkland, Florida, the slaughter of innocent country music fans in Las Vegas, the slaughter of 26 innocent victims at Sandy Hook Elementary School, and the daily scourge of American gun violence, enough is enough. The students at uh, Stoneman, Douglas High in Parkland, Florida, have called for a national day, nationwide day of action to protest the unending gun violence in the U.S., this is a Northampton March for Our Lives um, event. So um, folks are meeting at Northampton High School. They're going to march to uh, Pulaski Park in downtown Northampton. Pulaski Park? Uh, City Hall. I think. City, yeah. Uh, City Hall. Well, they're, mar they're marching into town. And uh, the march will fe feature a, quote, unquote, lion in Pulas Pulaski Park. Is they going to do that this time? Uh, that's kind of uh, part of the online agenda. Anyway, the days of, quote-unquote, nothing can be done and, quote-unquote, thoughts and prayers are over. It's time for sane, rational Americans to work on multiple fronts to end the plague of American gun violence. And they're asking folks to join them. Um, so you want to get down there. So, um, so start at the high school and march into town on the 24th. Um, so now uh, you said that there was... Um, 
uh, a a uh, fundraising. Uh, oh, hold on. There's a uh, website folks can go to. Mm-hmm. That's a PV4, the number four, PV4GunControl.org. Who wants to talk about that one? Uh, it's just a website this where uh, folks can get information. Yeah, Is that it, basically? Yeah, this one's very new. It's for people that don't use social media oh, okay. and like Facebook. But if you do, you should still go to the website. There's also free t- transportation if you're a student. Um, to get to the, the margins. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so they'd find out about that at uh, p4guncontrol.org? I'm pretty sure you could get there from that. Okay. Now, it's also a fundraiser. So this is, uh, folks will also want to check out gofundme.com slash western dash ma dash students dash four dash gun dash control. One more time. Gofundme.com slash western dash ma dash students dash four dash gun dash control. I get that right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So folks want to uh, bring their wallets or, you know, you can contribute online. Um, and, um, yeah, and just, you know, get involved. I mean, look, I know, you know, we're an, a kind of an, uh, we're an activist uh, valley, um, and there's lots and lots of choices of things to get involved in. But, I mean, let's face it, folks, you know, children are, the f- we're not going to be around forever. The kids, including the uh, young, uh, young women in front of me, are going to be around a lot longer uh, than the rest of us. So let's support them. Let's make sure they're safe. And, um, you know, it's crazy that uh, you guys have to go to school and feel this uh, fear and this anxiety. Um, how's the, uh, how are the uh, counseling departments at your school? Prob- schools probably, uh, we got Northampton High School with Willa mm-hmm. and uh, Pioneer Valley Performing Arts Charter High School with Zoe. Um, they must be overwhelmed at this point. Yeah. Do you want to talk about that? Um, actually, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what goes on behind mm-hmm. the scenes in that area. Um, but I do know, like, there's definitely been a lot of anxiety, some, like, sort of PTSD, I'm sure, for some students, um, who may have encountered, like, a scary lockdown drill, or, like, some, not just, but, like, something that was traumatic to them. And I know that, overall, in general, our, our guidance department, like, um, there's a lot, because there's a lot of students who have, like, these experiences, um, who go talk to them. But I don't know if it's different. Yeah. I don't think it's very different because our teachers, we haven't had like a group like talk or whatever. I think it's just students have been going to them if anything happens. Yeah. Well, I, I'm thinking it must be quite uh, therapeutic for everyone involved to get together with March for Our Lives and have a yeah. project and something, you know, constructive to work on. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's a, uh, it's, I mean, it's community action at its best. Is that, uh, is that helping? Does it, does it make you feel a lot better? Definitely. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, what do you do uh, after the march? I mean, what's the action? What's the, you know, what's the involvement? What, what are your plans after the march? Um, what are you guys going to do? Uh, just, like, tell people, register to vote. There's often the more yeah. things. Yeah, and call right. your representatives. That's and a huge yeah. thing. Yeah. Registering to vote. Like, that's um, kind of, like, the mm-hmm. main thing at the walkouts. Um, we yeah. had people going around registering students to vote because nice. you can um, register to vote before you're actually of age mm-hmm. to vote, um, which is very cool. And, um, uh, yeah, so that's huge. Also, just continuing this because, like, yeah. I know a lot of us, when it started, we're like, oh, my gosh, like, this is another shooting, but what's going to come out yeah. of it? And the fact that we've come this far is huge, but we mm-hmm. cannot let, like, the momentum stop, first of all. Um, NRA, we need to d- just g- make it dismantle uh, it, disband- yeah. dismantle yeah. it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. um, get it out of Congress, get it out of like politicians pockets mm-hmm. um, and just really start to acknowledge that this is this is something that happens um, th- that we can 100 percent change if mm-hmm. with enough willpower um, and also. Another huge thing that this march is kind of exploring is it's this intersectional issue of race and gun violence and how it disproportionately affects people of color yeah. or people, impoverished people. Um, and I think that's also going to be a big focus of ours mm-hmm. afterwards because it's, it has to do with like yeah. the black Especially because it's uniquely to this country. Mm-hmm. Like Australia had one, and I know another country did too, and they had a big shooting and then they banned assault, like the AR-15 or assault rifles, and they've yeah. never had another one 
or like yeah yeah so why can't we do that and yeah, we just have to make news, sure yeah, yeah. people don't forget about this because i know right. a lot of things come along and people are like for a minute they like tweet out something and then it'll be over but it's not over it still happens Abs- absolutely um so you know yeah i mean we want to look at uh we could also uh remove from office the folks who are receiving yes. NRA yes. funding. I, can you see it? Here's the list. Uh, yeah. McCain, yeah. Uh, 7, 700,000. Oh R- Richard Burr, North Carolina, 6.9 million. Roy Blunt, uh, uh, what's that, Missouri? Uh, 4,500,000. Tom Tillis, mm-hmm. and so on and so forth. Marco Rubio, 3.3 3 million. Oh, mm-hmm. um, you know, and just get these people out of office. And the other thing, uh, that's that was just the uh, Senate. Now we're on to the House. Look at this. Oh, you wow. know, it's a whole bunch so more. Lucky. It was so warm. the the great uh, Mark Weisman, uh, activist from uh, Amherst, uh, mm-hmm. late uh, Mark Weisman, who is a, a former guest of my show, uh, he used to do that kind of uh, social justice uh, theater. Um, oh. You know, he'd go out into the streets of Amherst and, you know, he'd play the big so banker. Cool. And then there were people with big oil barrels around them covered with oil. Oh, he was That's wonderful, amazing. wonderful guy. That's yeah, amazing. fantastic. He used to say he'd sit right here and he would say, you have to hit them in their wallets. So anybody that the NRA is giving uh, breaks to say you're, you know, what is it like if you're uh, an NRA member and you're flying with such and such an airline, if that airline is still giving breaks to NRA members, then you don't fly that airline. Mm, So keep that in mind. You know, we wanna continue to hit the NRA and their wallet. Um, And certainly registering to vote Mm. and voting these people uh, out Mm. of office as well. Mm. So so you guys are uh, doing great work and you know, it's uh, such a pleasure to have you on to talk about this. Yeah. And maybe you'll want to uh, come on another time for the next action or deb- debrief about what's happening. I really yeah. want to promote um, youth and, you know, your social action. So mm-hmm. uh, um, so please come back. Um, we're down to the last uh, couple of minutes. How would you like to um, uh, sum it up? What would you like to say? This is your, you know, yeah. voice here. So go for it. Well, I just think that <laughs> this activism that we see, like, there's people who are walking out with, like, po- that could be pe- penalized for walking out. There are people who are, could be, like, like uh, undocumented citizens who, if they go here, could be uh, also jeopardized of their safety in the country. Yeah. Um, this is kind of a huge issue, but it's also real, real, like, hardcore activism that is, like, defiant. I know... Um, I was with a group of students who walked out of an international test because it was at 10 o'clock and we got in trouble for it. But we didn't like it's it was just thrilling to see kind of this actual like push for um, really like driven hardcore activism. It's amazing to watch. It's inspiring when you especially when you go online and you see all of the schools walking out. There's a website that shows where all the walkouts are, too. And it's just incredible to see like, yes, we're like our little bubble in the Pioneer Valley is not the only place that's like it's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we're so used to uh, listening to politicians and thinking that they're in charge. Fact of the matter Mm -hmm. is you're in charge. You know, we're all in charge. The people are in charge. That's the way the government was set up. It's been corrupted uh, over the centuries. Um, But this is uh, you guys taking it back. And, uh, you know, uh, this happened uh, in the 60s as well uh, because our young people's lives were at stake. They were being sent off to this war thinking they were stopping this quote-unquote domino theory um, as described by uh, Secretary of State McNamara at the time, and mm-hmm. the spread of communism would stop if we uh, invaded uh, you know, Vietnam and Cambodia and all this other stuff. And students were on the streets, college uh, classrooms emptied out, and they were uh, doing just what you're doing. You know, so um, this is, uh, you know, uh, power to the people, we used to say. And to the young people. Yeah, still, mm-hmm. still power to the people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so thank you so much for coming in. And again, uh, this is uh, Willa uh, uh, Sipple. Yeah. Willa Sipple <laughs> and uh, Zoe Limos. And uh, they are part of the uh, March for Your Lives coming up Saturday, March 24th from 12 to 3 p.m., so you want to meet at the Northampton High School and march into town 
and listen to the great music and the great speakers. And again, the event is co-sponsored by the Pioneer Valley High School students, two of which are right here in front of me. Uh, the badass activists of the Pioneer Valley, Indivisible Northampton, Pioneer Valley, Women's March, and Progressive Pioneer Valley. So, uh, folks, uh, thanks for coming Thank in. Thank you so much so for much having us. really having appreciate us. this, yeah. yes. And um, hopefully we'll, uh, uh, we'll be there and we'll be joining you and uh, have a great time. All right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you All so right. much. Take care, guys. You-